The headlines tonight, bottomly refreshed after three days on cross, Branson's clockwork dog crosses Atlantic floor and sack chimney sweep pups boss full of mayonnaise. Welcome. On the day today tonight, David Owen emerges shattered from Oliver Reed. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite such uh, so totally wanton and ghastly mess. Terrible. And Portillo's wife defends crack habit. It's cheap, very cheap. Hello, you. Prince Charles has volunteered to put himself in prison in order to highlight the plight of Britain's jails. The Prince made the announcement at some speech or other he was giving today. He said and he wanted to set an, set an example. An example. The Prince has been preparing for his ordeal for the last two months by attending practice prison in a Rolls-Royce factory, sharing his cell with an old school friend. When he starts for real at Brixton next Tuesday, he'll be expected to muck in, just like any other convict detained at his mother's pleasure, adopting the regulation haircut and activity programmes. The Prince's choice, making a brush. I am determined, as far as I'm concerned, to try at least. And in that sense, it will be my own small contribution towards a vision of Britain. Alan, you're a keen fan of the law, aren't you? I certainly am. I support the law fully. Um, not too keen on those that break it, though. How do you support it, then? Just generally support it. What? Generally turn up on a Saturday afternoon and wave from the touchlines? <laughs> this is Sports Desk. I'm Alan Partridge. And it's a special desk of sport now, as we look back on some of the sporting highlights of the last sporting season. So lie down, relax, and let the sports commence. <laughs> When it's cycling championships you're after, you can't say fairer than the Tour de France. Dai Brandau there in the lead, swaying from side to side in his own inimitable bike riding way. Klaus been there on the inside, pumping away with his with those gristle-like muscly legs inside the those tight lycra shorts, which have become his trademark. And I don't know what this man is playing at. There's no way. Surely the judges must come down like a ton of bricks on that. Carrying bikes on top of a car is not a sportsmanlike way to run this race. You join me in the helicopter now as we look down on these cyclists that look somehow like cattle in a mad way, but cattle on bikes. And there's Sven Gunsen, closely followed by his great friend and teammate Klaus Ben. And the man with the bikes on his car is, yes, he's disqualified, as I said. And uh, Klaus Ben there wins, riding non-handed. No need for that. It was a belter of a season for athletics. 1,500 metres, their cram, and uh, not a lot happening. Quite uh, unremarkable. Really. Oh, good, someone's fallen. Uh, it's Peter Elliott. Yes, he's down. Peter Elliott, no relation to the late uh, Denham. And come on, Pete, back on your feet. You can catch up with them. No, no, he can't be bothered. And it was upsets all the way in the dive championships. Greg Lagani down, double back twister. Bangs his head in it. Textbook. Lovely. Let's see it again. He points down, up in the air, double back twister, comes down, bangs his head on the board and in. Lovely. The judges surely will give him high marks for that. But for my money, the best punches were being pulled this season in the boxing ring. As he's affectionately known to me. Thank goodness, actually, they're wearing gloves because I've witnessed bare-knuckle boxing in a barn in Somerset about three years ago. And it was a sorry sight to see men goading them on in uh, such a barbaric fashion. And I'm rather ashamed to say I was party to that goading. And uh, two men fighting, as I saw in the barn that night, naked as the day they were born, and fighting the way God intended. Wrestling at points. I don't know if you've seen Women in Love, the marvellous scene by the fire. It uh, kind of resembled that. I'm Alan Partridge, and that was my sporting season. Why don't you join me for another one? Join me.
Thanks, Alan. Time now for our resident humorist, Brandt, the physical cartoonist from the Daily Telegraph, to cast a wry eye at the week's events. And it certainly has been some week, hasn't it, Alan? Yes. News Jiffy. Just time to have a quick look at tomorrow's headlines. Aristocrats dung saves village from flood. That's in the mail. Today, drowned Italian wins Eurovision. The Express go with Lord Mayor's pirouette in fire chief wife decapitation. Grizzly but gripping. The Sun, Robin Cock. And the Daily Star, feel my nose and put my specs there, roars drunken major. That's it. That's the day today on the day that Boris Yeltsin told the world how he milked Mrs Thatcher. Good night.